What's going on guys, it's your boy Nate and I'm back with another one. We're here at Forest Park and we're gonna take a look at the anamorphic lens by Aboko. So when you first get in contact with the box, it has this nice sleek black look to it. It kind of reminds me of the Apple's Beats case. I don't know if you guys ever checked that out, but if you haven't, check out the Apple Beats case and it's well done, you know, it has a, quite a few images on it. Here goes the manual, nice manual, and it has a customer satisfaction paper and then it has a nice styrofoam padding covering it. And then when you look inside, you see there's a nice round reflective little anamorphic lens case. And then they also, the actual lens itself has a lens cover on it. And when you open that up, you'll see the nice little Oboco lens inside. It's a nice small package. And it also, when you look, you see the bracket to install the anamorphic lens on your phone. This is one of the main selling points for me what made me decide to buy this lens because it also came with a C mount and it also has a hot shoe bracket, you know? So it's nice and portable. It has the nice dirty feel and it also has a microfiber cloth for you to clean, you know, the anamorphic lens if it gets dirty. So anamorphic lens is supposed to give you a nice cinematic look and add some drama and pretty much stretch out the images in your video. And we're gonna look at the actual quality of it upcoming. So, I, so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. And the main features this anamorphic lens is boasting is that it increases the horizontal field of view by 33%. It changes the aspect ratio of videos from 16 to nine to 21 to nine. So that's a huge change. And it's gonna be noticeable in the video. It's also going to change the aspect ratio of photos as well. And it also has organic flares and distortion from added character and depth. Also cinema grade glass and anodized aluminum design and it's supposed to preserve the full sensor resolution. So we'll see in the test though. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe button if you really like these videos, it really means the world to me. And don't forget to share if you think this video is useful to anyone and help it get around so everyone could see it. I'll be using the Pixel 2 XL to add the anamorphic lens to it. There's two methods to install it on your phone. And this method is the first method. Also, it's gonna give it a downwards lens flare pointing downwards in this direction. So after you have the bracket connected onto the anamorphic lens, then you would take up your phone and put it where the seam mount and the lens are aligned correctly with the lens on your smartphone. And then you, there's, there's a little swivel screw that you would you just literally tighten it to the phone as snug as possible, but not too tight to the point where you're actually breaking your screen on the other side. But you just twist it and twist it and twist it until it gets nice and firm. It does take a little bit getting used to, but I assure you if you keep going at it, it, it becomes more easier the more you do it. 
So once you get the perfect alignment, you want to make sure everything is lined up properly and you just set up everything. And then from there, that's when you would go into your app to check the app to use with the anamorphic lens. The app that I use to set up the anamorphic lens on my phone and display properly is called Filmic Pro. So check that out, check the links in the description and I'll put a tab up there for you guys to check it up top. With this method though, I noticed there were a lot of vignetting. When I would go into my video to record, you'd see like black surfaces around the edges. So keep that in mind. And that's why I related to method two which is putting the anamorphic lens horizontally instead of vertically you set it horizontally lining up the lens on the anamorphic lens and the phone and you just pretty much swivel it up top and just tighten it you untighten it and then tighten it's at that moment you start to realize the true potential of the aboko anamorphic lens the full quality comes out and when you're looking through it it gives you the wow spectrum effect and you're able to go full blast on this thing. I think it's a great addition, man, for anyone who's into filmmaking, video taking, or if you wanna just spice up your video and give it some flair, some fun, go and get this anamorphic lens, man. Yes, I know you, Lansy, Moondog, and all the other guys are the news for when it comes to lens and moment, but this one, you gotta give it a chance, you know? It's good for the price. And you're getting a lot of bang for your buck, including this nice little C mount that they give you. But I think it's a nice addition, you know, to anyone that's into cinematography or if you like switching up your video, giving it a nice unique look. I think this is a good choice by Aboko. What's going on guys, it's your boy Nate and welcome to the Grand Or Life. Don't forget to tap the like button and subscribe to make sure you stay tuned for my next video. Peace, catch you guys in the next one.